What's going on, people? This is Jagos1, and I wanted to sit here and talk about the Let's Play Friendly Developers. Now, there's a big fiasco going on in regards to YouTube's content ID changes, which are affecting the multi-channel networks and affecting who's in them, who's not in them, and what's going to happen with that. Right here, it's talking about recently this was Nintendo. That's actually from a few months ago. And all of this started with a Reddit thread trying to find out what was going to happen to the Let's Play community. And if it's going to be changed, how is it going to change? What do people need to know in terms of who allows monetization and who does not? Google, unfortunately, does not help with this. So the community has to come together to try to figure out something that they can do themselves so what they did was they found which developers are allowing permission whether it's a tweet whether it's explicit official site permission or what have you some of the developers are valve 2k games is a maybe on some of their games because they do allow content on things such as XCOM, borderlands but some of their other games don't allow it Blizzard does the same thing, but I think when I looked into Blizzard, they have an issue with mods. That's one of the things that came up recently when they were doing, someone was doing an MMO. I'd have to look into that a little bit more to make sure that I'm 100% accurate, but that's something that you all can look into. So you can see the conditions, you can see the permissions. Um, be sure to try to figure it out for yourselves. Be sure to make sure um, if you have anybody that is not on this list, you can contribute to this list. So that way we can see which developers are stuck in ancient history and which ones are not. Something that can help out the YouTube community. So that way if we have a picture and we believe it's fair use, we can sit down, look at the tweet, look at the Reddit page picture and try to figure all this out instead of having to deal with the content ID system which has been known to have a lot of problems now one of the problems that I will talk about would be shining force this is one of those areas where people had shining force in the name and then they had a copyright strike given to them for that name this is pretty problematic when you think about three strikes you have maybe 200 videos you have content from 2010 and then all of a sudden you're getting copyright strikes for them on top of that you have to worry about copyright trolls who are basically not even a part of the community at all or they're not even representing anybody but they're just looking for your older videos to monetize make some quick cash off of your hard work I mean, we have the same, a similar problem in patent law, so it's not like it's anything brand new. It's just something that is just a hassle and a pain in the butt that would have been worked out with, say, the multi-channel networks. But of course, with that changing, that also affects everyone else. Take that as you will. Besides that, I'm not really going to go over the entire list or all of the people because, good gracious, there are a lot of them. But if you do have anything, I mean, this list from what is going on, it seems to be changing every few minutes. So this is something to look into, try to help out. And hopefully we can get a nice big list and see who is worth going to, who is not. And we can take it from there. So see you all next time.